Hey guys, in this video we are going to talk about the CSS display property, why knowing it is important for positioning elements by using the different values like block, inline and inline block. There is also a newer option of the display property called flex, which we use for building flexbox layouts and flex also provides an easier way for positioning elements in our layout. You are also going to learn that very soon in this video. So now if you are ready, let's get started. So every HTML element has a default display behavior. Here in the example, we have four div elements and these elements like divs, p tags or now bars, etc. They have a default display behavior, which is known as block level which means that once they are placed in our template, they will each take the full width of their rows. So these four div elements here are taking a 100% of the space of their rows, even if I haven't assigned any width properties here. And still they are placed on each rows because it's their default display behavior. Now you might think that, okay, if they have each a 100% of width by default, and when I assign them, let's say a smaller width to the divs, then they should be placed side by side. So let's assign to these boxes a smaller width, like 20%. And when I save it, they should be placed side by side, right? Well, as you see, this is not the case. And this is a common mistake that many people do. Even if now you assign here a smaller width, they still keep their block level display behavior regardless of an assigned smaller width or not. So if you want to place them side by side, then you need to assign a new display behavior. Let's say inline. So what is inline? We have seen here an example of block level elements, but on the other hand, there are also inline level elements by default, like span or anchor tags, which can directly be placed side by side because they take only the space as much as necessary. So let's change our tags to, let's say, span. And also let's clear this. Now, as you see, span tags are inline elements by default and they can be placed side by side. But the downside of inline elements is that we cannot apply width or height properties because they just don't work with them. And if you don't know this information, then working with CSS can be really frustrating. Now there is also a third option, which is display inline block. And this property takes the benefits of both of block and inline level elements. For example, with the display inline block property, you can apply both width and height properties to the elements, which we can't do with inline elements. And you can also place them side by side, which we can't do with block level elements. So let's change the display behavior to inline block. And now, as you can see, the elements are placed side by side and the width property can also be used. This approach has been used for a long time in CSS for alignment and positioning of elements, but there is also an alternative, a newer way we can use for alignment, which is the flex property. So what about flex? Well, first of all, using the flex property requires a parent or a container element. So let's add here, firstly, a container div and take these boxes inside and let's give a class container, okay? Now the benefits of the flex property can be applied only under the elements of this container, but it's not going to work outside. It's not going to work for this div element and normally since all divs are block level elements by default let's give our container a background color so as i mentioned divs are block level elements and normally the container element does not have any effect on their alignment of these boxes but pay attention now i am assigning a display flex property to the container element and look what happened 
All of these boxes are now automatically placed side by side. Of course, the orange one not because it's outside of the flex container. Let's also take this inside. And now all of these boxes are placed side by side without changing their display behavior because now these boxes are flex elements and the container div still takes the full width of this row and still behaves like a block level element. If you like, you can also assign them like height properties or different width properties and still they will be placed side by side. If you wish, on the other hand, you can make this flex container as an inline level flex element. And all we need to do is to change this to inline flex. And now as we can see, the background has disappeared and it only takes the necessary space as large as its children. It's still a flex container, but rather than taking the full width of the space, it takes only the space as its children need. Using, using flex is really beneficial. We can even do much more with flexbox. For example, we can easily center these boxes with a single property called justify content and then we give a value of center and now all of the children are very easily placed in the center. If you find this video useful, please hit the like button and for learning more about Flexbox, check out the playlist of my channel, which I am going to share with you guys very soon. And thank you for watching.